Hello and greetings from Iceland. Things have started to happen again after two slow weeks where we were only able to see slow moving lava, a new fissure has just opened up. That happened just this morning, April 5th, and it is believed that the new fissure is being fed by the same system as the eruption that's been going on for three weeks now. The new eruption wasn't very impressive in the beginning though. This is how it looks uh, when it started, and here I'm speeding it up a bit, time-lapsing it in order to show you how it gradually built up until the later part of today, and it has been quite steady since then. But what is more impressive is the lava flow, or where it's going. The lava is actually running into a new valley, and now it has steep hills and the all possibilities to make itself very visual while it's spreading out in this new valley called Merardalur. So I am pretty sure that one of the next jobs for our scientists will be to calculate how much lava Merardalur can handle, when it will fill up and start moving into the third valley that we call Nautai. And Nautai is actually the valley that we believed that the eruption would take place originally. So before the lava would hit the ocean, there are several steps that it needs to go through. And we are in step number two. The first response we got from the Icelandic science community was that the original vents were getting too high. So it was just easier for the magma to use this new path that it found today. They are also expecting that the pressure will move from the old vents and to the new fissure. And we can see signs of that already. If you look at webcams, you can see that the old vents, they are, well, they have seen better days. As usual, I'm leaving link to both of the live webcams. Camera 1 is pointing at the new eruption site, and camera 2 is pointing at the old vents. As the day moved on, we started to get footage from the civil defense in Iceland, but the region was evacuated when the news got out. It seems to me that the lava flow from the new fissure is greater than we've been seeing from the old ones, but uh, it's just, uh, I'm just guessing. The hills are steeper there and uh, it moves faster, so it might just look more. But I am, however, quite sure that the scientists will uh, give us a better report on that tomorrow. If it's more volume that's coming up now or uh, similar. It has, however, been uh, quite difficult to get some uh, assessment of the situation, especially predictions. Those who are in the front line, they are not saying too much. And I have complained about this before. After all, I'm curious by nature, especially when it comes to nature. But I can, however, tell you that uh, I noticed an interview with Mr. Harald Sigurdsson the other day. He is an Icelandic volcanologist and... Uh, he predicted the end of the Holohrauna eruption in 2014, or when it would quit, and that was accurate. And he has also made a prediction about the ongoing events. And he said that uh, this would most likely not be a long-term event. And when I'm talking about long-term, I'm talking about years. But he said also that this might last four months. And he said that a week ago. So if he will speak up again in the next days, I'm all ears. So far, we have seen uh, 6 million cubic meter pumped up into the valley under the older events. The average lava thickness in this valley is today around uh, 20 meters, and it reaches up to 50 meters where it's thickest. So this valley has been called the bathtub in the media lately, and we did expect an overflow from the bathtub within like 10 days. But this new eruption changed everything, of course. So that overflow has already started. This place became overnight Iceland's uh, most popular tourist hotspot, uh, literally. And that has created uh, its own set of problems because it's two hours of walk from the road and up to the eruption site. That means that uh, search and rescue teams have been working there day and night to keep people safe and especially to assist the people that we call uh, idiots. But you can find them all around the world. And we got our share of idiots up there already, creating a whole lot of problems for the volunteers in the search and rescue teams here in Iceland. That is not popular. And since we had this uh, new fissure to open up today, I really doubt that this uh, region will be open up for uh, visitors tomorrow, Tuesday. But I am very sure that our experts uh, will be there, and I will be listening very closely, as always.
we are looking at so rare and so uh, unique event, 20 miles from the capital. And I've said it before that this is like watching a TV drama unfolding. I've not been able to go out there yet with my own camera gear because I'm 500 kilometers away and it was my decision to uh, be careful when it comes to timing and such. So my chance is still there and I will be up there sooner than later. But until then, I have other videos about the same region and I will upload them in the next days for you to see. And with that, I'm sending you all my best from the volcanic island Iceland.